This is question 21b. Here we're told the cylinder has radius r and volume v, and we're asked to show that v is equal to pi r squared minus 3 pi r cubed. Now, in order to do this, let's first of all think about how we work out the volume of a cylinder. So I'm just going to write this here, that the volume of a cylinder, we can say, is the area of the base, so which is a circle, so pi r squared, area of a circle, multiplied by the height. So the area of the circle multiplied by the height. Now, what we can see from our formula here is that, um, and if we compare that to how we are being asked to show that v is equal to this, what we can see that the difference is, is that there is no letter h in this expression for the volume. So what we are going to have to do is we're going to have to figure out a way in which we can write h using the radius in some way. Now the thing to spot here is that if we look at our diagram, we've actually got two cones. We've got this large cone here, and then we've also got this smaller cone that is sitting on top of the cylinder. And so what we can say is that these cones are similar. Now what we also know is that the radius of this cone compared to the height of this cone, that if we were to put those heights in a ratio, uh, sorry, those lengths in a ratio, we could say that the um, ratio of the radius for to the uh, the radius of the sorry the ratio of the radius to the height would be four to twelve. Then what we can say is well if that's true that the radi that the ratio is four to twelve of the radius to the height, then we can also do exactly the same thing with our, um, the height of this cone, the smaller cone on top, to the radius of this cone. Now, the first thing to note is that the radius of the cone is the same as the radius of the cylinder. And we're told that the radius of the cylinder is r. So radius to height of the larger cone is going to be r to what? This is the tricky bit. Well, what are we going to call this height? And what we can say is that well, this is going to be 12, the height of the large cone, minus the height of our cylinder, which in this formula we are calling h. So we're going to say that this is r to 12 minus h. Now, what I've now got is I've got an equation. And the way to solve this is to put both, um, both of these ratios in the form 1 to n. So in the form 1 to n. And the way that we do that is we just divide through, we divide each ratio by the first part of the ratio. And so that would then say, once we've done that, once we put both in the form 1 to n, we can then equate the second part of our ratio because they will be of equal value. So dividing 4 to 12 through by 4, that would give me the ratio, um, or that would give me 12 over 4. And I can say that's 1 to 12 over 4, which is equal to dividing through by r. That will be equal to 12 minus h over r. So I've kind of skipped a little step there. What I've Just to kind of reiterate what I've done there is that I've just said that this would be in the form 1 to n. So if I were to divide through by 4, I, could, I would actually be saying that's 1 to 12 over 4, which equals, which equals um, 1 to 12 minus h, minus h divided by r. 
So once I've got those two ratios in the form one to something, I can then equate the second part of each ratio, like I've done there. So 12 over 4 equals 12 minus h. Now that I've got um, now I've got this this equation, what I can now do is let's rearrange to make r the subject. So basically, find an expression uh, for the height um, in terms of r. Um, so what I can say here is that 3 will be equal to 12 minus h. And then going from here, what I can then say is, uh, sorry, over r, then say that this is 3r is equal to 12 minus h. Now, just keep going through here. I need to find a, um, an expression for the height in terms of r. At the moment, I've got 3r is equal to 12 minus h. And so all that's left for me to do is I'm going to now say that that is h. So adding h to both sides, subtracting 3r from both sides, I can say that h is equal to 12 minus 3r. So now I've got an expression for the height in terms of r. And I needed to do that in order to um, be able to write the volume using only r. Using So an expression for the volume in terms of r. Um, and I've done that by finding an expression for the height in terms of r. Now all that's left for me to do is for me to plug the height into that formula. So I can say that the volume is going to be pi r squared multiplied by the height, which I've just worked out, is 12 minus 3r. And then final thing to do here is just expand this bracket. Pi r squared multiplied by 12. I could write as 12 pi r squared. And then pi r squared multiplied by 3r. So that's going to give me 3 pi. Pi multiplied by 3 for 3 pi. r squared multiplied by r for r cubed. And that is exactly the same as what I've been asked to show. Um, so quite a complicated process there. Um, but essentially the key idea is being able to recognise that we needed to find an expression for the height in terms of R. Um, so again, because it's a show that question, you'd have to show some working in order to get there. Um, and so... Kind of your final answer is this work in here that we've done.